Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Many features of Excel are dependent upon making a reference to a group of cells. In Excel, a group of cells is called a range. Ranges are used in many ways in Excel. For example, you may have a column of sales figures. Using a formula, you could refer to the range of all cells within that column and then add them together to find your total sales. This is just one example of how you use ranges in Excel. Note that you can also make references to either a single range or to multiple ranges. Multiple ranges can be adjacent, overlapping, or completely separate from one another. To make a range reference, which is a critical aspect of writing formulas, you individually identify each range by its upper left cell address and lower right cell address separated by a colon symbol. For example, to refer to the range of cells from cell A2 through A5, you would write A2 colon A5. To refer to multiple cell ranges simultaneously, you simply separate the references with a comma. For example, if you wanted to make a reference to the cell range A2 through A5 and the cell range B1 through F1, you would write A1 colon A5 comma B1 colon F1. That would allow you to refer to both cell ranges simultaneously. This can be very helpful when writing formulas. And while you need to know how to write a range reference when creating formulas, you will also need to be able to select ranges of cells with your mouse or keyboard for other purposes, such as formatting cells and performing range data entry. When a single cell range is selected in a worksheet, it will appear with a border around all of the selected cells. The selected cells will appear highlighted. The column and row headings of cells that have been selected will also appear highlighted. The active cell within the cell range will appear as a normal white cell but will be encased within the cell range border. As always, when performing data entry, the entry will be made within the active cell. A range will stay selected until you click into another cell or move your active cell with the keyboard arrows. Doing that will deselect the cell range. You can also give a name to a cell range that you refer to frequently. This can make the function of the range appear more clearly when used in formulas, as you can substitute the name of the range in place of the cell range reference in formulas. You can select a range using either your keyboard, your mouse, or a combination of both. To select a range with your keyboard, simply select any cell that you want to set as one of the four corner cells within the range, then hold down the shift key on your keyboard, and then press your keyboard arrow keys to extend the range in whichever direction you prefer until it is the size that you want. Finally, release the shift key on your keyboard. To select a range with your mouse, simply click and drag from one corner of the cell range to the opposite corner of the cell range. You can also quickly select a range by using a combination of both your mouse and keyboard. To do this, click the cell that you want to set as the upper left corner of your cell range. Then press and hold down the shift key on your keyboard, and then click the cell that you want to set as the lower right cell within your cell range. You can also select multiple non-adjacent ranges in much the same way that you select individual ranges. However, you must do this by using the control key on your keyboard in conjunction with your mouse. This is very useful for simultaneously manipulating data in two different areas. For example, if you wanted to bold the cells within two separate cell ranges, you could first select both cell ranges and then simply click the bold button within the ribbon once. To select multiple cell ranges, simply select the first cell range. Next, hold down the control key on your keyboard and then use your mouse to click and drag to create the additional cell ranges. Finally, release the control key on your keyboard. 
Make sure that you don't move the active cell by clicking your mouse without holding down the control key or by using the arrow keys on your keyboard, or you will deselect all of the ranges that you have made within your worksheet. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.